How's it going? So we stopped at the footer, I think, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the footer. Otherwise, we're going to have to remove it all the time because I'm going to be using this uh, basic table as a template. Okay, so the next one we wanted to do was how to merge cells together. So you go to column definitions. And let's say we want first name and last name just to be called name. So the easiest way to do that would be... Yeah, so you see I already created ac accessor function. So you type accessor function, then row. And row gives you dot notation access to whatever the name is in here. You see, so this is, you can go row dot first name and you have access to name. Uh, row dot email, you have access to this. So likewise, you can just uh, comment this out. Uh, we'll put this as name. And then we want to add second name. So let's do like this, row dot last name. So now if we look at our app, you see it merged. Tommy Griffey, Delia. Well, I probably need to show you before and after maybe. Yeah. Mm. So you see right now we have name and last name. Well, first name and last name in separate cells. So you can just merge them. So that you see it, so that Tommy and Griefy will be in the same cell. And that's the way I showed you how to do it. We just go back. You see, we just need to refresh. And then first name and second name are in the same cell. You can also, like, you can add anything into it. You can add email if you want as well. Let's say, I just add email as well. Just for the fun. So row that, well, let's add something that's not there right now. Um, gender, and I just add gender. So now if we refresh, we should be able to see, you see? So that's kind of like cell merging. Okay, so let's remove all of this. So we don't have to deal with this anymore. Should I put it as part of repo? Um, well, let me just do... Hmm. I'm just thinking, should I... I'll just make a uh, cell merge example. So we will do like this. It's just that for the repo, you know, so when people, because not everybody's going to watch the whole thing. So if they look at the repo, they can see that it's, we call comb definition with cell merge. Like this. Okay, so this will be at row last name, and this will be name, there you go. So now this will be part of the repo, so people can see how to do it as an example. Okay, so header grouping is, hmm, it's not straightforward. It's kind of like straightforward, but also okay so let's say we want to group this let's change this back to key so people don't get confused by this stuff actually i'll just keep it like this doesn't matter so let's say we want to group this into name again right so we create a object in here 
we call it header is going to be name then we create column I believe let me just have a look actually I will do it slightly differently I will do it with okay so we're gonna do um, <clears throat> we're gonna do column definition with with column def with grouping so the way to do that is let's say we want to group first name and second name so header is going to be name then we create I think it's like this so it's plural columns then it's a array and then you just put your things into it okay so now we need to import this into here and change this like this Okay. <clears throat> so you're gonna have a bit of gibberish happening in here. So you're gonna see like stuff like this happening. You see this grouped under name correctly, but you also have ID, email, and date. So the way to remove that is the way to remove that would be. yeah so you see in here we have flex render right so what you need to add in here is um, what do we need to add in here we need to add basically code like this column element dot is placeholder so placeholder is basically what you're seeing in here like these guys in here that are not supposed to be there are inside the object and they are placeholder true so we want to remove anything that is true so if placeholder is true we want to return null, i.e. we're removing it. If it's not, we want to return flex render. And if we save, it, you see these guys disappear. Because they are placeholder true. Whereas this value, this value, and the rest are placeholder false. You can like console log it and you will see it. But I'm just saying that, you know, that's the way to do it. Uh, uh, my apologies that it's in the morning so I'm a little bit waking up still waking up all right so now we have done this we're gonna go back to column definition we can keep it all right so this is column grouping have done what are we doing next column so header grouping sorting columns okay so sorting columns we're gonna create a new table for this probably yeah so new file let's call it sorting table dot js so
Ok. So we'll probably maybe want to rename it. Yeah, and we want to ping this stuff as well. Pin, pin, pin. And column we also want to pin, I think, right? Yeah. Mostly we're going to be branching off table. We don't need this stuff here. Okay. So now we are doing sorting columns. So how was how to do sorting columns? Okay, so the first thing we do is we need to import this thing here. It's called uh, get sorted row model. The next thing we do, we need to create local state. So let's put local state somewhere. Probably here would be a good place. Now the next thing we need to do, we need to add the hook, this hook into our JSON model, which is in here. So normally when you add the hook, you just do it like copy the hook name, copy and paste uh, and call it basically, right? Okay, next thing we need to bind, this is called binding local state to table state. So inside the table we have state, which is called sorting. And we want to bind it to this sorting, like this. So this is the first binding, so this, this will bind uh, the um, state, right? And then we want to bind also the... Um, on change function. So inside the use table, there is on sorting change. We want to bind it to this set sorting like this. And then that's about it. Yeah, now it's going to be a bit of a confusing code. So now we want to go into th, which is a table header. Now I'll show you, there's going to be a little bit of a bug, but I'll show you how to fix it as well, right? So, um, you want to take this function, you see column element, which is um, from here, column element, column get sorted. This thing returns two things. It, it either returns ascending or descending, like this, right? So based on that, we can return. Well, you can just copy and paste, I suppose. Now, you, like, I hope you understand what this will do. So, we're going to create an object with ascending so if it's ascending we're gonna show up if it's descending we're gonna show we're gonna show down now you can replace this up and down with like the you know the little arrows right now we need to put it inside the object Like this. So this is the end of flex renderer. So code for up and down sorting. Yeah. So remember, this is an object, right? This is an object. So and then we put the array and then column element column get is sorted so if this thing is true we want to return whatever comes out of it either ascending or descending if it's not true just return nothing right so remember with objects you can do two things you can either do dot notation or you can do array notation right so so for example if the object if this thing 
if this thing here returns ascending, um, it will show up. If this thing here returns down, um, my apologies, descending, it will show down. Now just play play around with this thing, like you you, you understand what it does. Um, okay. I think that's about it, right? That should be it. Okay, so... One thing I forgot to do is we need to add into th tag an onClick handler. Right, so we need to do on click equals, and then it's gonna be colon element, I think, right? So it's this thing here colon element dot colon dot get toggle get toggle sorting handler and then we call it so like this so that that's what we add basically again it's gonna be in the repo right so you can see it uh, and then this should pretty much do it I think right yeah yeah so you see now it's sorting so we click it goes up down or no I don't know, should I explain you this code? Um, this code is quite confusing. But just, just remember, okay? Remember this thing. We have an object, okay? How to explain it to you? Uh, let me just pause one sec. Okay, so let's say we have object. Let object equals to name. Um, me. Okay, so look, if we take a our object, well, let's say, let's console log it, right? If we can do object dot name, so this will console log me, this will return me, or we can do this uh, name like this. No, it's not gonna work because we need to have it as a string okay right so as opposed to putting the thing in here we can just take the object and put it in here like this whoops i tried to save so that's why it does it so now you see where ch so now we have name let's put something else into it uh name to me too so you see, depending on what we put into this thing here, uh, the result is going to change. So if it's name two, it's going to be me too. Right? So imagine this is some kind of state that can change between three things, either name, name two, or null. Right? So if this is null, nothing is going to get returned. Undefined, I think it's going to get returned. Yeah. So you see what I'm saying is that it's exactly the same in here. I'll just put this in here. Maybe we might need it in the future. So it's exactly the same in here. We have an object that has two keys. And this thing can return either ascending, descending, or nothing. In which case we return no. And that's it. That's all there is to it. Okay, so I hope this explains. So sorting columns done. Formatting cells. So formatting cells is very, very easy. It's exactly the same as in the other one. Okay, so let's do a cell format. So sorting table, which one is it using? Column definition it's using, okay, so. 
Yeah, okay. So to format cells, let me just have a look at my notes. We basically do like, let's say we want to format the date. So cell. And in here we want to destructure, which is called get value. Now this is a getter function. So when you, when you basically do this, get value, and you call it, you get this value here. Where is our, um, you get this value here. When you call it, that's what comes up. So we want to somehow format the date. So what does it look like right now? Yeah, it looks like some, it looks okay, but I mean, we want to maybe change it into something more decent. Honestly, let me just move this thing in here. So what can we do? We can use probably moment as a framework to do it. Uh, npm install moment, maybe it's already installed. Then we want to import moment from moment. Now you can go on the official website and find out it's moment.js basically. You can see all the kind of options in there. So let us apply moment like this new date then get value you can i don't know you can apply any styling if you want you know and format let's do let's do month 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 um day and then year year let's just do this So now you see the format has changed. Now we have this. Now if we remove it, it will change. It will change into this. Now we do it again. Whoops. Now you can play around with this. You can do whatever the hell you want with it, right? Now it's back to being this. So that's cell formatting. You can kind of target any cell you want with this stuff, okay? So this is part two done. So I'll do, what did we do here? Yeah, so next is gonna be global field. So next is gonna be basically filtering and debounce functions. Take care.